John chapter 19 and Proverbs chapter 10. And John chapter 19 is one of the clearest places in the Bible that we learn the phrase, power is a loaned gift for a purpose. Every one of us has power, whether it's physical power, whether it's uh, power as a parent, power as a boss. And here's the story, John chapter 19, verse 8. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid. He went back inside the palace. Where do you come from? He asked Jesus, but Jesus gave him no answer. Verse 10, do you refuse to speak to me? Pilate said, don't you realize that I have power either to free you or to crucify you? Now pause just for a minute. Realize that Pilate had more power than probably uh, Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates or even the President of the United States. This man could just order a thousand people slaughtered and give no reason. He just was that powerful. And so this is one of the most powerful men that in our world we've ever known of. And so this is an example of a testing of the whole subject of power. And don't you realize I have power either to free you or crucify you? And Jesus answered, you would have no power, <clears throat> excuse me, over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. So all of us get a temporary loan at times. And if we want to, what we want to do is we want to say, Lord, you have loaned me this power for a purpose. Let me never forget that it's not mine. It's loaned to me. Let me fulfill the purpose. Uh, like as a pastor, your purpose is to serve people, to bring them closer to the word of God and closer to Christ. So let us fulfill the purpose that God has given us this power for. John chapter, um, I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 10. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 19 is one of my most um, constricting and life-changing and helpful verses. It really applies to me. It says, when words are many, sin is not absent, but he who holds his tongue is wise. I tell my staff all the time, I say, you're going to have to help me. I have an invisible tattoo on my chest. You want to know what my invisible tattoo says? It says, help. I'm talking and I can't shut up. And so I will tell my staff, I say, look, I need your help. I'm going to hold myself accountable to listen more than I talk. So I'll, in my meetings, I'll say, let's go around the room and let's make sure everyone else talks more than I talk. I've discovered that when I talk too much, I'm either trying too hard, I'm being insecure, or I just haven't had time with Lord, and I'm just self-centered. But boy, the Word of God is so powerful that when I'm talking too much, sin is at the root of it. And I, I love that verse. I love, John, are you listening? Are other people talking more, or are you talking more? Boy, the Word of God just keeps us healthy, keeps us growing, keeps our hearts clean, and keeps us more like Jesus. Can someone say amen? Have an awesome day today. Let your hearts be filled with the goodness of God today. God bless you so much.